that's your boyfriend. That's your boyfriend. <laughs> Rose gold party hats for everybody. Oh my god, they're all gonna hate me. I'm jealous of my own life right now. Happy birthday. <laughs> Say it again. Cheesy ball. <laughs> again welcome back to x mealy Rex and another weekly vlog i lied to you i said that the next time i was going to do a weekly vlog i'd be 30 but i'm not i'm still 29 because it's the day after i finished last week's vlog um but i've decided to do a little weekly vlog over the next couple of weeks um but not like a structured one so not like monday tuesday wednesday proper transitional shots all that stuff i'm literally just going to film as and when i can because the cruise is going to be super busy uh, and just cram it all into a vlog for you so i thought that'd be nice toby's bags are packed are you ready to go and see Matt and Mary? He's not even interested. He's just trying to tear apart his bed, which I found in the cupboard. And I realized the reason why I put it in the cupboard is because he found a hole in it. And it doesn't matter how many times I stitch up, he eats the stuffing. Anyway, <laughs> so today I'm going to get my hair done. So um, I put out on Instagram the other week that I was gonna do a box dye on my hair because I'm just so sick of the roots and I kind of wanted to do like a sombre look. And I got told off by the head of Francesco group. <laughs> she was like, do not touch your hair with a box dye. You're coming into the salon, we're gonna fix it. I was like, okay, I'm gonna be there. Um, so we're doing a blog post on how to get the new trend for the season, which is sombre, a soft ombre. So this is what my hair looks like at the moment. Let me try and get it down the middle so you can see. We've got some nasty little roots going on there, my original color. Then it's still quite red from when we did copper, like back in November, was it? And then obviously it's gone blonde from holiday. So it's just a bit of, an all over mess. So we're gonna do a sombre, which is a soft ombre, which is kind of like a root stretch and then a nice blend down. So Morning everyone, it's Wednesday and it is the day of the cruise. I'm on the way to the airport, which is fairly exciting. Meeting Jess from the Travelista. Um, haven't met her before, but she's traveling from Manchester with me and the rest of the girls have already gone from London. So yeah, we're hopefully gonna have a, a beer at the airport and check in and hopefully everything goes all right. Had a mad pack this morning, realized that I do not have enough weight on the plane or space to fit clothes in for nine days, two outfits a day, absolutely crazy. So I think there's gonna be a repeat of a few outfits, but never mind, I think we've got everything that we need. So I'm here with Jess from the Travelista. We just got called to the plane because we were late. We were too busy drinking beer and eating breakfast. Um, Take a look at our incredible coach. We've got like an entire table. <laughs> so we're just having a little business meeting at that. <laughs> look who it is, it's Emily Luxon. She's been up since five, she looks yeah. like shit. Oh my goodness, my room is amazing. Like these state rooms are pretty damn big. Look, queen size bed, balcony, bathroom, which I haven't seen yet. Oh, ow, just got electric shock. <laughs> bathroom, shower, sink and everything very cool so we've got to go and do our mustard drill which is like the safety thing um in about 20 minutes so it's probably gonna take me that long to find the place where we're gonna be doing that and then we're gonna get ready for dinner go down for cocktails have some dinner so yeah i'll probably start the official vlog tomorrow i reckon it's been a lovely day traveling so far everybody's amazing um in the team so yeah excited really excited for this guys and i get to bring you along with me which is amazing so we've just been and seen the medical centre and the doctor was rather dishy. Suddenly we're all not feeling too well. <laughs> we've decided to do the trivia quiz. And it's uh, pretty easy. Everybody's looking fabulous tonight. It's formal night. And we're all dolled up and dressed up. And it's amazing. I love it. It's so nice to have an opportunity to actually like, dress up every now and again. So Vicky, what have you got? It's <laughs> <laughs> Where are we today? We're in Tallinn, Estonia. Exciting. I'm full of cold. And it's a bit chilly. Glad I've got my layers. <laughs> Who's your mate, Emily? You think he's good? <laughs> One, of your no. <laughs> One of the best games to play in a museum is just pointing at really weird pictures and going, that's you. That's you. <laughs> well, that's your boyfriend. That's your boyfriend. <laughs> Emily, can you give us um, a little Estonian lesson? What's the word for shop? Uh, food. 
<laughs> so what's, what, what would you say you'd call a souvenir shop? Souvenir food. <laughs> I know, it's always walkers sort of vinegar for me. So this is basically no. Western, Western you know what? I love. If we put you two together, you make one mustard person. You do. There's someone mustard. trend. <laughs> How's your Russian, Emily? So good. Yeah. Speak really good Russian. Da. How, how, how'd you say hello? Hello. <laughs> All Emily knows about Russia is what was on Anastasia. No. I also read uh, War and Peace. Oh. All I know is Boney M song. Rah, 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 I thought Emily was guiding us to the old town uh, with a map on her phone, but no, she just played Pokemon Go, because apparently that's still a thing. It is still a thing. <laughs> so it's T minus 30 minutes until my birthday. Um, I'm not gonna stay up. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed, because we're all very, very tired. We've walked so much today in Stockholm. Um, and then tomorrow, I don't really know what the plan is. We're at sea. The only thing I've got planned on my birthday is a hot stone massage at 2 p.m. And then a uh, steak dinner in the evening with everybody, so that'll be really nice. Um, I think we're just gonna meet up for like a late breakfast, have a bit of a lie-in, which is much needed. Everyone's so tired. Uh, and then, yeah, just chill. I think if the weather's nice, might be up on the top deck, um, doing a bit of sunbathing. But apart from that, I'm just going to be seeing in my 30th birthday in the middle of the Baltic Sea with a glass of champagne, um, just loving life. So yeah, I will see you guys in the morning and genuinely this time, the next time I speak to you, I will be in my 30s. That's pretty scary. So team, I am officially 30 years old and it feels great. Uh, I'm just up on the top deck about to go for breakfast with some of the other girls. Uh, and then I'm going to come back to my room, have a shower, do something with my face and start celebrating. Can't believe it, I'm old. I also realised that aircon makes my face incredibly puffy in the morning. Happy birthday to you. Enjoy yourself on the cruise. Have no doubt I put your bit out. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, <laughs> have an amazing day. Totally grabbed a quick buffet breakfast, got back into my pyjamas, came back to my room and popped open a bottle of champagne. And now Emily's gonna grab some cake and some sandwiches and come round and drink the champagne with me. Best birthday ever. <laughs> so we have all just been for a Swedish massage in the spa and it was absolutely Absolutely incredible. Oh, it was so good. I absolutely loved it. Um, and then we've been in the inside spa a bit for ages. We've got thermal baths, all these different showers. And now we're on the top deck, about to hop into a hot tub, have a few drinks, and enjoy the sunshine. So I have had one of the best birthdays ever on board. Um, and it's time for dinner now. So we're going to go down. We're going to try out the steakhouse. We spent the afternoon pretty much drinking beers and cocktails in the hot tub after our amazing massages. And yeah, now it's steak time. Genuinely couldn't think of a better way to spend a 30th birthday. If anybody can think of one, leave it down below. Happy birthday. <laughs> that Philip Schofield is the brand ambassador for Princess Cruises and he's across the road in the ice bar so we're gonna go meet Philip. Everyone's very excited. Phil a bit nervous. We can see him. Phil. I can see him. I can see him. You can, you can see his silver locks. This is the highlight of the cruise for you, Jess. Absolutely. Yeah. Highlight of the cruise. <laughs> Possibly the best day ever. Very excited. Jess is still tweeting her picture. <laughs> what a lovely bloke. Ah, just got to my car at Manchester Airport and now I've got to drive home. <laughs> so uh, yeah, ugh, this trip has been incredible guys. Like absolutely awesome. But oh my God, we were all just broken today. We were just sort of like traipsing around Oslo. Like, oh my God, we need to go home. We need to sit down. I can't take any more pictures. 
it's been a long one it's a long press trip this is um and there's been loads on but it's been really fun so um hopefully i can insert a few funny clips here and if you want to see more of the cruise itself and what we got up to and the awesome destinations that we went to genuinely this is not that they're not all worth watching but this will be <laughs> this will be a vlog worth watching because our oh, stockholm was just incredible copenhagen was beautiful oh, i was just awesome anyway um i'm gonna drive home Tomorrow I'm gonna go for a little belated birthday dinner with my mum and dad. I also get Toby back in the evening slash afternoon, which is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping as well. I'm gonna go treat myself, treat yourself um, for my birthday for some like clothes shopping and stuff because I feel really inspired after this trip. Uh, this top's from Primark, by the way, it's really old. So many people have asked me about this today. Um, yeah, I feel really inspired by this trip like with all the outfits and stuff and actually like making an effort when you're facing your outfits so i'm like yeah i've caught the bug it's a new season i'm gonna do some shopping so yeah i might not vlog oh hang on matt's got a very special birthday treat for me on sunday he's taking me for a picnic which is very cute even though it's gonna piss it down with rain so well organized there sir um but i might vlog that if not i'll catch you with you next week i'm so tired i'm just gonna go collapse when i get home with a glass of wine <laughs> So we had a lovely curry with mum and dad last night for my 30th birthday um, but somehow I've woken up with the worst back ever. It's like it's probably gone again. I'm very grateful it didn't happen on the cruise but yeah I'm in quite a lot of pain so I'm just kind of sat here on my little camping chair while Matt just does everything. <laughs> I feel really bad. Yes! yes. Woohoo! Happy birthday me! Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Look at this. I'm jealous of my own life right now. <laughs> Good morning everybody, it is Tuesday, today <laughs> Tuesday, really had to struggle with that then. Uh, Tuesday, the sun is out, it's shining, I had such a productive day yesterday, didn't vlog because I was just like on a roll, got everything I needed to get done done, which is really great. Um, and now I am going to collect a parcel which arrived while I was away, haven't bothered to like wash my hair or anything because it's roasting outside, so I've got my shorts on. I'm going to take the doggo, I'm going to walk to the post office, which is a fair walk, it's probably about uh, 45 minutes each way. We're just going to get out there, get some exercise, get some sunshine and then come back and film a video for you guys. So that's the point, I'm going to have to wash my hair at some point. <laughs> and then tonight at Bumble um, I've got a women's self-defence class, which is going to be awesome. Seriously, this hair. <laughs> It's like the 80s threw up on me. Very, very excited for the weekend, my birthday weekend. Hopefully I shall bring you guys along with me. Um, but yeah, just filming as and when this week. It's quite refreshing actually, quite, uh, quite good for the soul. I'm so sweaty. I've just got back from our Bumble self-defense class and it was amazing, absolutely incredible. The uh, guy from Defense Lab who was called Mark was just awesome. He was so, so nice. And um, it was really lovely sort of like, starter introduction to self-defense and stuff we learned some really practical bits and bobs those are palm strikes and all that kind of stuff yeah loved it definitely gonna be putting on another one of those i spoke to bumble the other day and they were like yes you're allowed to repeat it um maybe do a two hour one and like learn some advanced techniques but oh, it was amazing it really sort of made me want to get back into my kickboxing and stuff so i'm currently researching that on the sofa i need to shower though because i'm very sweaty hey team excuse my bare face and sweaty hair i've been to the gym this afternoon uh, i did a really cute a workout and I very much enjoyed it uh, and now I'm going to take Toby out for a WALK because it's nice and sunny the rain was supposed to come today but apparently it's not raining so uh, I'm going to stick my washing outside yes I've even done some washing I'm on a roll what's he got there I know you've got something you're not supposed to have because you're running away from me and then I have some more videos to edit tonight because um, I want to take the long weekend off so I can really enjoy my 30th birthday bash which would be great um, so yeah I've got loads of stuff coming up for you guys I've got um, a morning hacks video which is going live on Sunday hopefully you will like that if you haven't watched it yet please 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 do go over and watch it and leave me a comment um, and I'm working on a recipe video loads of loads of content loads of content and there's some really good stuff on the blog as well so if you like reading head over there as well I've been sent some pans for this recipe post and they've sent them in the biggest blooming box they're very nice pans though 
So a company called partypieces.co.uk sent me a boatload of stuff for my party and it's really pretty because it's all rose gold. Oh my god, look. So I've already put this up here, so I'm gonna take that down and take it with me. A little happy birthday sign, so I'm gonna that can be used every single year. And then we've got a big um three and a big O balloons to blow up. They've sent me a can of helium, so that's gonna be hilarious. Trying to uh trying to blow everything up. What else have we got? We've got confetti. Um, rose gold like a confetti garland which is really pretty rose gold bunting oh my god <gasps> party hats rose gold party hats for everybody oh my god they're all gonna hate me genuinely when I think of um, like birthday stuff like balloons and party hats and garlands and all that kind of stuff they're all sort of like neon colors or kids party kind of like primary colors so when I saw that these were all rose gold I was like oh my god these are perfect and they're reasonably priced too so if you in a party or a summer barbecue or anything definitely check them out i'll leave a link down below because i'm very very impressed and they're so so pretty so i can't wait to um accessorize the farmhouse and get in that hot tub because the weather is glorious ah! Hey everyone, it's Thursday, um, it's about 20 past one. I am going pottery painting with my friend Maggie because I've completed all the work I needed to do. I'm still waiting on an email back from um, Lions Coffee about the Coffee Hacks video to make sure everything's okay. So there's no point waiting around just for that. So I thought I'd go out, do some pottery painting. I'm gonna take Toby with me. We'll see how that goes because we're gonna sit outside. It's really nice weather today. Uh, and then yeah, I'm gonna come back and sort out that washing up. <laughs> and sign off everything before I finish work for the long weekend. So I've got my pretty dress on from Super Dry because I'm going to tan my shoulders and yeah, just feeling really good. I've been to the gym this morning as well, done leg day, feeling super buzzed. So I deserve some cake. <laughs> I have finished all my work and done all of my chores. I'm feeling so, so accomplished this week. I really just got off my ass and did it. And I've been to the gym and done exercise and see my friends and I just feel like I'm winning at life so far this week. So um, I'm gonna sit down and watch the final part of Innocent, if anybody's been watching that on ITV. Oh my goodness, it's so damn good. And then I'm probably gonna crack on with a few more episodes of 13 Reasons Why. Just having a TV night in my fake silk Primark pajamas. <laughs> I uh, got a very exciting email in my inbox. So do you remember I told you that I was reviewing a load of wines for a company called Vina Campo and they were gonna give me an offer to give out to you guys. Well, we did it and drum roll please. This is my winner. It's an Argentinian Malbec and oh my God guys, it's absolutely incredible. I think I've spoken about wine a couple of times on this channel and you guys seem to have the same kind of taste as I do, especially with like New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs, that kind of stuff. So I'm a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc kind of girl, love oyster bears, a white but Argentinian Malbec or a Spanish Rioja tend to be the kind of reds that I go for um, and yeah I tried this one it's from Mendoza it's amazing I really really like it it's a very very special red and they've given me an offer where a case of six is normally 90 pounds so it's not cheap wine um, and they've done an offer for you guys where you can get a case of six for 59 pounds which is amazing so if you are into your wine and you really like Argentinian Malbec, 100% recommend that one. Um, I'll leave a link down below to my special landing page. I've got a landing page of them, so um, it's got my face on it and everything. Recommended by me, because I'm an expert drinker. <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you want to get your hands on some really nice wine for a bargain price, I have to say, because um, it's not a cheap one, then check that out down below, I'll leave a link. Amazing. Right, I'm gonna go and pop into town and get some last minute bits and bobs. Um, I need to pick up some alcohol. I was also gonna try and find a new belt because uh, I've lost all belts that kind of go round here. I think belts are back in fashion, right? Because originally they were in fashion and then they weren't, and then it was skinny belts, and now I've only got skinny belts, and now I think thick belts are back in fashion. So I'm gonna go and hunt down one of those in Primark. Look at this adorable top that I got sent from Joni Clothing. Oh, they're so cute, and there's another one they sent me. I'm a bit giddy about them because <laughs> they are super cute. Where is it? It says bon appetit and it's a croissant and two cups of coffee. How cute is that? Well, so because um, because Matt lives under a rock, I've just been showing him the Yanni and Laurel thing. <laughs> we think it's Yanni now. It originally was Laurel. Um, Why don't you know any of this stuff? Yeah, you know, but it's both of them, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It sounded like Laurel when I first heard it and now it's Yanni. Yeah. But you can't, you can't do the brainstorm thing. No, it's all green needle. It's not! It does change, your ears are broken. Currently investigating old school playlists that we can play this weekend. <laughs> They're having a right party in the car. 
Oh my goodness, it is so cute here. We've even got a little horse in the field. Ah, oh, this is amazing. I'll give you a little tour tomorrow, but for now, drinks. That's a big one. Don't explode your face. Happy birthday. <laughs> This, I'm pretty sure this is really not good for your health. laughing <laughs> Hello. So I've got two pairs of flip flops from Primark that look very, very similar. Ended up bringing two left feet. Are we enjoying how the fridge is more alcohol than food? <laughs> yeah, because that's thingy. Right. <laughs> if you just joined us, we're learning how to wolf whistle. <laughs> And Matt's playing with balloons. Oh, your hole came out on that on what that one. <laughs> your hole, <laughs> your hole came out on the zero. It nearly floated away. Aww. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Does this look really creepy? No, you look actually very glamorous. <laughs> Surprisingly glamorous. Are you ready? Okay, make a wish. Yay! Yay! What do you wish for? I can't tell you where I'm country. <laughs> oh. Especially because I said, what do you wish for? <laughs> oh, is this a famous lemon drizzle? Oh, yeah. Oh, famous lemon drizzle. What you got in your mouth there? Cheesy ball. Mm. <laughs> Say it again. Cheesy ball. <laughs> I'm zooming in so much. So it is officially party day. I've got my little it's my birthday sash on. The balloons are still going strong and it's absolutely glorious weather it's there is not a cloud in the sky it's about 20 degrees <sighs> couldn't be more lucky this weekend incredible so matt's cooking bacon sandwiches lauren's still dead to the world lucy's in the shower joe's gone home and all the other guys are on their way here now so yeah should be a good day you all right <coughs> It's so bloody hot today. It's too hot to even go in the hot tub. So we're just all sunbathing with the sheep in the background. Sheep, the horse. Horse sheep. and cow. Horse and cow. <laughs> I'm stripping down slowly. Some What's super next? Super dry. <laughs> in the hot tub. Some super dry. Yep. These are from Primark. Lovely. These are Primark. Mmm. Budweiser. <laughs> Sponsored by Bud. Hashtag Bud. <laughs> Fab is the way forward. What are my autobiographies going to be called? Fab is the way forward. Fab is, no, it's Fab is the way. Well, I'm coming to Springfield. There is so much food and booze in this house, it's ridiculous. The boys have outdone themselves with the barbecue. <laughs> I'm home oh my goodness after an incredible weekend it's actually Monday today stayed over for the extra night we had it until today uh, but the plan was to come back yesterday and I was like Do you know what it's such lovely weather I'm like but my nose it's red hot outside such lovely weather and the cottage the farmhouse is stunning so let's just stay and yeah we stayed and we just chilled out and sunbathed and sat in the hot tub and ate the leftover food from the party drank a few ciders and just enjoyed life so it's Monday now I've literally just brought all the stuff in from the car I've got so much to like pack away Oh, I can't be bothered. I'm exhausted. It was the best party ever. I don't know what footage I've got on this camera. Probably hardly anything. Um, I've hardly got any photos. I've just got like some blurry ones from our iPhones and stuff. Of it's in the hot tub and yeah, I just, it was incredible. It was so, so good. It was everything I could have wanted it and to be a more like, I think I said it before, I've never really had my own friends and so having these people that would travel all that way and come and spend the weekend with me and buy me such lovely gifts like oh my god lucy bought me the most amazing present and a himalayan salt lamp and she made this incredible salty caramel chocolate cake and oh everything was just it was just so wonderful i just i kind of i can't get my head around it <laughs> still a little bit sort of in a daze and everybody had such a lovely time and I think I broken and <laughs> it was all great. Oh, it was just amazing. I'm just sad it's all over now.
sad times. I think, I think I might have given myself a water infection, which is my own fault because I was sat in the hot tub for days and hours and, <laughs> and they're not good for you. So I'm hoping that doesn't develop. So I'm gonna just, I booked the day off today anyway. So I'm gonna sort all the stuff out from the car and just chill I think just chill and then get back to work tomorrow so I'll probably end this vlog here I'm really so like I said I'm sorry that there isn't probably a lot of vlog footage there's not really that many photos um I had all these sort of like plans for the vlog and I took the drone with me and we were just gonna take loads of b-roll and have people talking to the camera and all that kind of stuff and I just when I got there and all my friends turned up I was just like I didn't even think about it just didn't even think about it I didn't touch my phone for like two days which is not like me at all it was incredible I just feel like I really switched off which is exactly what I needed especially after the cruise so yeah oh wonderful thank you for celebrating what little of my birthday you have seen with me <laughs> and uh here's to being 30 Dirty 30. Starting a new decade. Bring it on. How are you nearly one years old? We're walking home. <laughs> a little bit of the asshole. Uh, we only went and bloody one, yeah. didn't we? But she didn't put it in my spine, she put it on my vagina.